Okay, we got a full eight inches of snow, but not even 24 hours after it stopped snowing, we got a lot of slop. No snow on the piles, but it's melting fast on all these roads. Meet the Peterson family. Our dad, the three Peterson brothers, and our families farm together in central Kansas. Our family farm started in 1882 and has been raising cattle and crops ever since. Please subscribe to this channel and give us a like and a comment if you enjoy the video. So the roads are, are turning to slop, it's same as the, the gravel roads, you know, drive to town. So the cattle will have to deal with some mud. So I was slightly worried about these cows and calves out here in the peak of their nutrition needs, but they're all fat. I mean, these cows are fat and they're nursing calves. There's a perfy looking heifer calf, but I might keep it as a cow. So we don't have a whole lot of wooded areas except for along borders of fields, but this area is in the middle of this quarter section. They had this whole area to keep shelter from that snow there and all this area to eat with it okay here's that twin calf that i worked at for so long I, i've tried it on three different cows and i finally got this cow to take it and it's raising the calf so i got to keep this cow for another year after it lost its calf and i didn't have to bottle feed that calf so that was a win-win for both of them just finished sorting uh two pins of steers um, these are the lighter end uh, right here they haven't been fed yet so I've got to uh, finish feeding. My dad's putting away the last pin as I hopped in here to update the bunk sheets. And we didn't find a heifer in the pen, so I had to add to this heifer pin over here. It's a very muddy morning. The cattle market is down the last two days. Well, it's down Black Friday and Monday, and it's up today, but it's significantly lower than what I wanted to sell these cattle for. So it's not been the most, you know, joyous of mornings in the cattle operation. We still got cattle to sell, so. Okay, here's the steers that are market ready. They're sorted into a pot load. I think we're gonna sell them on Thursday. They have fluctuated from being worth closer to 2,000 bucks to probably down to like $1,700. And now they're probably settled somewhere in the middle there, but the market has gone crazy on the board. You can't tell me the physical value of these cattle has changed that much, but the traders in Chicago are trying to fluctuate cattle and freak out but we'll see how they sell on thursday so i've been working on replacing this door panel just kind of off and on for like a few days the latch had quit working it was all cracked up inside of here the window didn't work so i took it all apart i figured it out but it was quite the puzzle don't really like the design also now i have it all back together and i have one nut and one screw left over so <laughs> but hopefully it holds together but it'll be nice to have a window that works again and obviously a door latch that works again so this was me uh hauling this load of cattle in and i thought i'd set up the camera and uh think back to that semi-accident I had, what was it, three years ago now, maybe four. Um, so I had just turned onto the highway uh, when I was, when it happened. And uh, this is probably half a mile from where I turned on the highway. And uh, coming up this hill is when I first saw the other semi coming into my lane right at this bridge, these yellow and black striped signs. So I had about from right here, two, three, right there is when I hit the ditch. So I had about, you know, two, three seconds to make a decision of whether to hit him or bail. Looks like we got more rain than what I, wow. Would have been real nice to have an inch over an inch of rain in the middle of the summer, but 
Instead, we get it during... Well, I got to dump it out, I guess. Instead, we get it when the pins are already wet, but still good for the wheat. Fed the cows some pumpkins here. See what they'll do. So far, not much. after dark put them some distillers heat up so it's time for another episode of welding junk together with Nathan and uh, today we are working on a there goes Kindle and the sidekick it's hard to aim a camera so I'm trying to uh, build a new spool for our wire winder. This is our little homemade wire winder. I have no idea how old it is. We have a lot of spools that are just made out of a two and a half inch pipe with disc blades welded on each end. And they slide on this shaft. It doesn't sit up in there, it sits flat. And then you run the PTO and it winds the wire. Works pretty good. Um, we have one spool that is made out of a like a car tire rim. Because there's a bigger diameter, it, it uh, winds up the wire a lot faster and it puts less stress on the wire than wrapping it so tight around one of these. Building these was way easier. That's what we have more of. The goal is today to make, we have some small uh, rims that uh, some tires were on. Uh, they were little gauge wheels for the sprayer booms. We didn't like them, took them off. Okay, so this is what I started with, nice little rim. If you get too big of a rim, it's gonna wind up the wire too fast, not as safe anyways. And then also we wanted the inside to be as small as possible so that we could get a pipe centered and straight on there makes it a lot easier to build it. So I'll show you, here's what I have so far. I did have to bush it down with a slightly bigger pipe. And now this will slide in there and I'll weld that um, and we'll be able to wind faster. We'll be able to unwind faster with less stress on the wire. I'm never the most pretty welder, but uh, should hold. I'll put this one on top and uh, cut that. Main concern is if we get it wide enough. We built the other ones with uh, just wider. You, you spread it out. Because we have a bigger diameter, we could store a lot more wire and by the time, you know, it's this thick or whatever, there's gonna be a lot of wire on there. I'll make this one and if I don't want to change anything, I'll make that one just like it. And if I do want to change something after we use it once, then I'll change something. There's my finished product. We'll go slap it on there. Kendall and Greg, we're gonna go wind up wire, but Kendall went to help dad or something. So I guess we'll get to try this out. We'll go, we'll go try it out right now. Well, this is what I get for eyeballing the whole thing. I'm running into the front there and my whole, I just eyeballed this hole, I'm that close. Didn't quite get it right. Okay, we got her on there. We got her greased up. Yeah, it wobbles a little, but I think that's the the wire winder itself, maybe. <laughs> you bet. All right, we got the wire here. Need to cut down some trees. Yeah, hook it on to here. That's good. 90% sure. I just did yeah. this a week Since ago. the last time I thought counterclockwise. Yeah, it's wrong. opposite of what you think it'd be.
He's an engineer! Alright, we picked it up going that way. Now we're going this way. How did it work, Nathan? We're good, I like it. Should have done it a long time ago, probably. Yeah. It's a quarter mile fence. Quarter mile fence. Like it, it didn't take very long. The bigger the spool, the faster it goes. You don't want too fast, though. Yeah, you don't want too fast because then you're. Uh, might run into some other problems. Alright, we got her done. Did good, so we'll go back to the farm. So we need to unroll it over where the cows are for their next. We're gonna put them on the rest of the field they're on. It's gonna be a big patch, but we couldn't fence the whole thing till we had this picked up. And it's good for them to do just kind of a section at a time anyways. So where we picked it up here is where we drilled the triticale after the cows were done grazing. It's coming up. It just comes up slowly when it's so cold. We, you know, do all no-till, but between, like especially here on corn stalks, between the drill coulters are kind of a minimum till the double disc drill opener and then just running cows on these corn stalks uh you know especially with the couple rain events we had um it's basically kind of a minimum till or vertical till look but we're gonna have this triticale coming up and should be nice and green in the spring hopefully we'll make us more efficient with that water keep it from eroding be real nice to uh put beans into next year Okay, we're gonna go ahead and roll this one out and uh, you can see here this is what we've been rolling on this really wide one was for uh, barbed wire and that's what these were good for barbed wire because it takes so much more volume and stuff and that's the old one we had and that's a bigger rim it spins pretty fast but this is gonna be a really nice happy medium Definitely gonna do the other one the same way. Just spins it out back there. Scotch. Oh yeah. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't have pulled it so tight with these hills. Can you raise it up so I can go underneath? Oh yeah. I need to clean our windshield. Out here with the sidekick, fencing. So Kendall and Dad laid out this wire earlier and now we're going along and putting up posts so that the cows and calves can graze the rest of this cover crop blend. Look at all that green out there in the middle of winter. Vincent. What's up, buddy? Honestly, this is bizarre. I don't think I've ever seen a buck just, we're just fencing right through where he was taking a nap. And he's not, he's not ready to leave yet, I guess. Well, he finally ran away, but now we're caught back up to him. Drinking out of this pond. We must be friends. So we are uh, back finishing this fence that we started uh, the other night at sunset. Um, Dad and Kendall are over there winding up the old wire. We took, we had split this field into two, and so we took the old wire down uh, took the posts off of the old wire through the middle and now we're on the outside. We went ahead and let the cows out, so we don't have the fence hot yet, but we're hoping that they just eat since they were hungry. And then Dad and Kim will get that wire wound up. We'll get these posts put up. see going that way about 240 acres total all right 
right now. Kendall and I are winding up this wire. He must have must have ran into a problem. Thanks for watching, everyone. Check out our music videos linked in the description. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, Snapchat, and explore our website, www.petersonfarmbrothers.com. See you guys next time.